what's up people it's your girl Sam and I am back barefaced for another video um, I recently on my Facebook had asked um, about some video ideas that I was brainstorming so I gave the idea of um, makeup that I own but I kind of hate or it just really didn't work for your girl um, another throwback uh, makeup I did one previously where I did the comfort zone wet and wild palette I'll leave it in a card below as well as in the description box below so check that out um but i also put out there about my skincare routine and that was the one that people kind of seemed interested in so that is what we will be doing today so in the last year i have been on the strongest journey to the ultimate skincare routine um this has led to me um upping my game and i have a several skincare products that i will be showing you today that I use and I'm going to take you through what is a typical skincare routine for your girl um now I might use hella products and do hella steps that people be like girl that's way too much tailor it to your own needs but this is just what I do teach you about some products that I've learned about and I've been using for a while and that work really well on your girl um I do have combination oily AF Skin at times um, I've noticed that this routine has made it where my skin isn't as oily as I used to be um, I still have to prime a whole lot when I wear makeup so that I don't be looking like a pimp named slick back um, when I wear my makeup for a long time but for the most part for day-to-day -day, which I typically don't wear makeup day-to-day -day, it has vastly improved the oil secretions on my face so we're gonna be doing this right here but uh, typically obviously I will be doing this at my bathroom sink so if you want to see my skincare routine stay tuned okay so I have zoomed you in just a little bit more into my face if I start squinting I took my glasses off Ivy and I can't really see y'all anymore because I'm blind AF all right so if y'all at some point see a girl like this <laughs> That means she can't see. Okay, don't judge me. All right, here we go. So the first thing that I typically do if I do wear makeup and I'm wanting to take it off for the day, there are two products that I typically use. The first product is going to be this. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Cleansing Oil. It has a great scent to it. It has rose hip oil in it. So it kind of has like this rosy smell to it but this is amazing um again i am oily your girl can't use this every day i only use this to take my makeup off it breaks up um any makeup on your face um it also will break down any waterproof makeup that you might have on so typically when i do my makeup tutorials or if i wear makeup at the end of the day when i take it off um i use this what you do is you just do a couple pumps in your hand rub it massage it all over your face like i said it will take off any makeup and then you put a little bit of water in your hands and then rub over it again which emulsifies it which means you'll see that the oil will kind of turn kind of milky looking um and that kind of emulsifies it to your face and then you rinse your face off and like i said this will get all kinds of makeup off um it says deep cleans and brightens removes makeup and impurities um rose hip fragrance like i said it really smells like roses it smells really good no mineral oil no parabens um grapeseed oil jojoba and rose hip oils and vitamin c and it is for all skin types again if you're oily i don't really see why you would need to use this every day but again i like this to remove my makeup okay the second product that i use to remove my makeup is this um i've had this for i don't know how long um this is the mary Kay oil free eye makeup remover when i say this shit's right here will take everything off your eye everything but yeah i do need to get more of it um but like i said i love this there are not too many mary Kay products that i use i used to sell it i don't want to sell it no more don't nobody come for me anyway but um i this is probably the one product by mary Kay that i am like get some get some get some so yeah i really strongly recommend this it kind of has even though it says it's oil free it separates and it does like have this kind of like oily film to it it get everything off your eye that's all i know so yeah the mary Kay 
all free eye makeup remover is life okay so now once I've had all of my makeup taken off and I want to go into my skincare of washing my face the first thing that I will typically do is cleanse my face um, when my skin is broken out what I'll use to wash my face is this this is the Biore um, charcoal grateful oily skin at uh, charcoal acne scrub um, it does have silic acid in it which is again an ingredient that will heal acne or to help uh, with breakouts so that they don't last as long um, it says it exfoliates away acne causing dirt and absorbs excess oil to help eliminate breakouts with charcoal and again charcoal is good to cleanse the pores um, help with excess oil on the face oily girls drama okay now for the days when my skin is cooperating and I do not have any breakouts which is like today I will wash my face with this um, this is again the charcoal deep pore charcoal cleanser again this is great for oily skin to help with pores um, which most people who have an oily skin we have larger pores um, due to the uh, sebum that generates on the face um, and it's good for purifying and it again is oil free so the first thing that I'll typically do in my routine is I'll wet my face and then I'll take about two pumps of my Biore the face wash kind of work that into a lather I really make sure I get my nose my nose gets extremely oily um, I make sure I concentrate it on my face in all the areas that I really break out, which is along my chin and on my cheeks. And then I'll run it through my eyebrows a little bit because every now and again, for some reason, I get bumps or I break out in my eyebrows. Not above my eyebrows, but actually in my eyebrows. So I make sure that I really work that in for a good minute on my face. Okay. Now, once that is really massage in typically I just rinse my face I do not normally use rags or towels on my face because they carry bacteria and that is another way to cause your skin to break out so typically I just take the water and I rinse and splash it on my face until everything is gone but again since I'm not at my sink I will be using a rag today but again this is something that kind of helps with breakouts um, is not like I said using rags um, because they will carry bacteria if you do make sure that you're changing it quite often okay and so this is what the face is looking like after we have cleansed if I look down I'm looking in a mirror as well because again I can't see so I can't see what's going on in the viewfinder I think I just flipped water y'all sorry but yeah so that really cleanses the skin makes it really soft um, helps with texture on the skin as well but sometimes I like to go in um, normally about once a week I will go in and really exfoliate my skin now if I'm just feeling like my face is like really textured and really rough or I see a lot of dead skin on my face I will use this this is the equate blemish control facial scrub it is basically the Walmart knockoff of the st. Ives apricot scrub um, like I said I will typically use this if I've noticed that my skin is very textured or like I said if I can see that my skin is kind of flaky or it really needs to be exfoliated throughout the week this is what I will typically do um, like I said it is blemish control it does have the silic acid in it which is again good for acne now if I am feeling extremely oily and I need to kind of help with my pores and the oils on my face um, I will do this mask this is the Queen Helene <laughs> kicking it off go for you the mint julep mask um, it deeply cleans and refreshes oily and acne prone skin so what I normally do is I'll do like the center of my forehead I really make sure that I get my nose and my cheeks where my pores are the largest and sometimes I do my chin if my chin is not extremely dry um, but it gets extremely tight and you'll feel it and once you take it off your skin is so soft it gets everything out your pores um, and you'll be able to see it. it'll have like the little dots where you can tell it's like drawing the uh out of your pores so this is a mask that I would typically do on like a Sunday night if I've noticed like my, my pores are really large or if I've just been like super oily 
on my face this is the product that I will use but for today what I'm going to show what I would normally use after I cleanse if I wanted to do a mask or an exfoliant is this this is the Freeman charcoal and black sugar polishing mask um it basically gets off any type of debris from your face like I said it really helps to detox um, it also helps to draw out any impurities in your pores um, so what you do with this I like to either just with my uh, fingers or I actually got this in like a little kit for some other mask it's like this little silicone little brush thing that I like to use for my mask now what I'll do is I'll put some of that on it and then just kind of spread it all over my skin now you don't really want to rub this in. This, like I said, this is meant to be a exfoliating mask that you want to kind of hang out and cook on your skin for a little while. So I just spread this everywhere. I'm really going to concentrate it down here on my chin because my chin has been really dry and flaky lately. And so I really want to make sure that I exfoliate that area. Now, once I have the charcoal mask on, like I said, you leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes. And once I am done, I will be back and we will move on to the next step. See you in 5. We are back. It has been about 5 to 7 minutes. So what you'll do is you'll again take some water on your hands just to dampen them a little bit. And then massage the little sugar bits into your skin and I really like to concentrate on my nose because I'll get texture there as well as on my cheeks on my chin where I've been having dry skin lately where my skin's been flaking a little bit and what I also like to do is to kind of rub it across my lips as well to exfoliate my lips and again you just want to massage it into the skin about one to two minutes Okay, now once I've gotten all of that, rinsed it really good off of my skin, your skin will feel so soft, so smooth, especially around my nose is where I can really tell because like I said before, my nose felt kind of really textured as well as along my cheeks right here. And it also got a lot of that flaky skin from around my chin. Now, the next step I will go to is toning. When my skin is not cooperating, when I have breakouts, I will use this. This is the Target brand Up and Up um, Deep Clean Toner. Again, it has silic acid in it. Again, silic acid is good for healing and helping to uh, clear up any breakouts that you might have. This is again the Target brand version of the Clean and Clear Deep Cleaning Toner. Um, it, helps, it treats and helps prevent pimples, cleans deep, feels refreshing. Um, it does leave this very kind of tingly, airy uh, feel to your skin. Um, if you are dry, I would not really recommend using this because it does dry your skin out because it's um, helping to heal any uh, breakouts on the skin, which is typically they dry them out is how they work with acne. But if you are like me, again, if you have oily skin, this works really well. So like I said, this is what I will use as my toner when I am having breakouts. If my skin is pretty clear and I don't have any active breakouts, what I will use is again another product from Target. This is the Pixie um, Skin Treats Glow Tonic. It has 5% glycolic acid in it. Glycolic is good for exfoliating the skin. Um, I don't really like the smell of this, but what it does for your skin is oh, amazing. Um, it says it gently exfoliates to remove dead skin cells, revealing healthy and glowing skin for all skin types, and it is alcohol free, which is good for you dry people. You do not want anything that has alcohol in it because alcohol is very dry. So this is the toner I will be using today on my face. What I do is I just take a little cotton pad. This is one of the ex exfoliating cotton pads, so it has like these little bumps on it to help as well. And I just put a little bit on the cotton pad and I just go around my face. I always start on one side of my face and kind of work outwards. Again, making sure I really get my chin. 
and I kind of swipe over the areas that are my problem areas a couple times just to make sure that there is no dead skin there make sure that it's really exfoliated the reason you should use toner is even though I use both of those this is what still came off of my face so it still did that little bit of exfoliating that was still left any dead skin cells that might have still been left even after the cleansing this is what the toner gets off of my face i know it's really gross to see that sorry but just wanted to let you know why it's really good to still use toner because it will pick up any leftover makeup any leftover dirt anything debris from the day on your face it will get that that you're a cleaner mist now face should be feeling really smooth like i said from the products that we have used so far um from here if you just want to keep it simple you can just go into moisturizing but i'm extra so there are more products that i use okay so the first product that i use is this this is the elf hydrating water essence when i first started learning about the whole uh 10 step korean uh skincare they would always talk about essence and i was like what the hell is essence besides the black owned magazine um so i just really needed to know i was like and then i would find essence and they was trying to get 50 dollars at your girl and she went about that life because um i don't have coin like that to just be getting some little watery stuff um it is the hydrating water essence it has a coconut water in it um this is a lightweight water-based lotion that hydrates for healthy glowing looking skin this light watery texture glides into skin to hydrate leaving skin feeling refreshed and smooth infused with purified water coconut water and algae um one thing that i did learn in my skincare journey is that even though you have oily skin it is okay to get products that are hydrating because typically your skin is overproducing oil due to dehydration. So as long as I have noticed that I've really been helping to really keep my skin hydrated, it has helped to kind of balance out the oil. Um, Essence also helps to kind of prepare your skin and really open up your pores so that if you do use moisturizer or anything like that, it will help your skin absorb it better so all you do with the essence is you just take a little bit in your hands i just take a couple of drops and i kind of rub it around and all you want to do is press it into your face so again this is the water essence i want to say this might have been six or maybe ten dollars at target didn't cost that much it's not as much as most essences sisters that i have seen but again this is completely optional you do not have to get this but this is just what i use in my skincare so the next thing that i'll do after i do of my water essence is serum there's a wide range of what you can use serums for there are serums to help with um keeping your skin bright there is anti-aging serums there are serums to help if you have acne prone skin there are serums if you have dry dull skin there are lots of serums that you can use um the one that i like to use lately is again this is by neutrogena this is the hydro boost hydrating serum um this says it boosts hydrogen for smooth supple skin all day it is oil free um, it says it instantly absorbs to quench dry skin and deliver higher hydration levels for fully hydrated skin that glows day after day so what i'll typically do with that is just do a couple of pumps on the four areas of my face and then i just take my fingertips and rub it in it has a very gentle scent to it which i really like I really make sure that I concentrate on any areas that I feel like I'm like really dry. Now, this next step again is uh, completely optional. You do not have to do any of this. Like I said, you could have stopped at toning and then just put you on some moisturizer. But again, I'm extra and I like all of these products for my face. So after I put on my water essence and I have done my serum just to help with a little bit more extra hydration, um, I like to use this. This comes from Ulta. This is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray. 
Um, it has aloe, cucumber, and tea tree. Um, it says it invigorates dull, tired skin with an infusion of nutrient-rich botanicals and cucumber essential water. This facial mist delivers a cooling boost of hydration as green tea provides powerful antioxidant protection, leaving the skin feeling refreshed and revitalized. And so that's all I'll do is I'll spray a little bit and then I like to pat it in as well. So this is the one that I use daily for my face. I do use another one for my makeup. I use this one for my makeup. This is the one that has the rose water in it. Um, it's really good for setting makeup and making you not look powdery. Um, so it, it a lot of makeup artists or different gurus on YouTube uses and I really like it because it does really settle your makeup and makes you not look like cake face. So you get these at Ulta. They're only like seven dollars. Uh, Mario Badescu products do not cost that much but it is amazing skincare. Now the last step that I will do during the day for my um, skincare is moisturizing. When um, my skin is broken out or I am having acne, I will use this moisturizer. This is the Neutrogena Oil Free, again, Acne Moisturizer Free Grapefruit. It clears breakouts. It is a lightweight moisture. It again does not feel greasy. It has kind of a more watery texture. Um, I don't typically will use this all over my face if I've used all of my other hydrating I will only kind of concentrate this on the areas where I am really broken out which is like I said typically it'll be on my cheeks or along my chin is where I will put this when I've broken out and then the rest of my face I'm pretty much good without having to put moisturizer everywhere or whatever is left over on my hands whatever is a light layer I will just rub that all over my face um they said this is a light grapefruit scent this form of moisturizes and clears breakouts won't clog pores and is a non greasy formula and that it definitely is like i said it will not leave you slick looking it will not leave you oily and shiny um, it absorbs really good into the skin it again has silic acid which is again um good for acne to help to clear that up so this is the moisturizer that i will use when i have broken out but for the days where my skin is cooperating and is doing fairly well which is again today um i will use this i like neutrogena products and i love biore products if you have not noticed um this is an amazing moisturizer now she about twenty dollars for a drugstore moisturizer but so worth it um, this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. It is again oil free. It is a watery gel texture to it. Um, so it is non-greasy. You will not leave looking like you have been frying fish all day. Um, I really like this. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is good for hydrating. Um, it's also good with uh, keeping the skin looking glowy. Um, it says it instantly quenches skin and keeps it looking smooth, supple, and hydrated day after day. It is oil free. What I typically do is I'll take that little silicone paddle that I use for my mask. And I just like to take that and just take a little bit. On different areas of my face um, I'm scraping the bottom of this jar but I did go and buy another one yesterday because as you can see she's out um, and so what I'll do after I've gotten some of that on my face and you just rub it in I also make sure I concentrate it on my neck as well I did recently go to the dermatologist so one thing that is kind of helping with the breakouts over here on my face and helping with the texture of my skin is I was prescribed uh, Retin-A um, by my dermatologist. Um, you do have to have a prescription for this one but there are different uh, makeup skincare companies that do um, sell Retin-A so you don't necessarily have to go to a dermatologist for this but this is just the prescription grade of the retin a this is really what has been drying my skin the out 
um, especially around my chin so I try to be very careful about it right here along my face because I've become very dry and flaky which is why I've been having to use my Hydro Boost for real but as far as like around my chin it has helped out a lot um, and like I said I'm using it in this area over here to kind of help with the breakouts and the um, hyperpigmentation that I have there um, I only put this on at night um, because it does make your skin extremely sensitive um, this is not something that you would want to wear during the day um, another thing that I will do if I just want a little bit of extra pampering for my skin um, like I said on Sunday nights I'll do like my full um, facial routine which is when I'll add in my um, my exfoliant mask or my mint julep mask I'll do all of the serums but I also like to wear sheet masks um, again sheet masks can be used for a number of things they could be good for pore cleansing um, if you have uh, oily skin and you want something mattifying if you have dry skin and you want something to make you radiant or glowy um, like this one right here this is a vitamin C glow boosting paper mask um, it has grapefruit and vitamin C to help refine pores leaving skin bright and radiant they have collagen in them if you want to help with uh, collagen production which is really good for keeping the skin firm and making the skin look all supple and whatnot so I do like to use masks like these um, you can find these at Walmart um, or Target anywhere really in the skincare aisle they typically come like two for five dollars um you can buy a whole bushel of facial masks from amazon i have found ones where it's like a pack of like 20 of them you can get them for like ten dollars you would put this on your face after you um do your serum you'll want to pop this on your face you kind of hang out for about 15 20 minutes and then you take it off and kind of smooth the uh, serum in so like I said if you want a little extra something something for your face try a sheet mask it's fun and now the last and final step of my routine after we have exfoliated our lips making sure that they're not all crusty and peely and disgusting because you gotta have cute supple pretty lips because when you put on lipstick or anything like that especially if you wear matte lipsticks you do not want your lips to look all peely and chapped that's not what's hiding these streets so moisturize the lips I love this one it's the aquaphor lip repair um, it just leaves your lips really soft really smooth and that's all I do it's just throw a little bit of this on in the morning I'll do this as well before I do my makeup because it helps with um, like I said especially if I'm wearing mattes or if um, I'm gonna do a lip liner it helps to really moisturize my lips so that the products go on really smooth so yeah that is the final step um hope you've stuck around this long again you do not have to use every product that i use you do not have to do every step this is just what i like to do so hope you enjoyed it um if so give me a thumbs up below please subscribe if you like videos like this and you would like to see more my head wrap fell off again I don't know why um, but yeah so that video right there you should watch it and then if you know you should watch more all right thanks and until next time it's been your girl Sam